If I tell you what it costs to clear the land, your jaw would be dropped like. <gasps> there are eggs in it! What wait, 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 wait. Oh gosh. Speak science to me. <laughs> And we hear on the radio that there's a steel festival. I don't know if I so we're supposed to go in because we remember said Google said we got a bush already, so <gasps> we get tricked! We were tricked! Yes! Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> What's our going on, neighbors? What's good in the neighborhood? Yeah, man, no problem, man. <laughs> so we're here today, you know, at the property that we purchased. This is what we come here with. Premier or premium fast dry spray paint because we're going to be doing some painting. But not of the house. We're going to be painting the trees. <laughs> We're confused, don't we? are just going to be marking the, the trees that we want to get rid of. I know what you're thinking, you know, don't cut down fruit trees that are bearing, but if I tell you what it costs to clear the land after it grew up, your jaw would be dropped like. So we need to ha get a handle on everything. And a, a, part, a big part of that is pruning I'll the trees that we need to place. keep and to taking down place. what we think is, is too much just to get the place manageable and so we'll have farmer carry on here today and yeah you hear the people the, the, the supporters heard of, you heard the flapping of those wings so we'll have farmer where's, where's, the, where's the fourth hey. one? Oh, Leila let me get in again seriously Leila Isabel Le farmer Isabel farmer Emmanuel Sorry. Emmanuel so what I got to Farmer do. Eva. Elizabeth. Elizabeth and Farmer Victoria. <coughs> All in the property. What, what are you doing here, Leila? Looking for treasure? No. What are you looking for? I see something. Is there something under here? Oh. What is it? I don't know. Anything on our side of the place is ours. It's so here, guys. Not, not yet ready. There are so many Aki trees here. Yeah. It we carry on to Aki. We can still start. We can carry sell Aki go Aki. to the market. Yeah. Come give me a thumbnail where is it the ready shot, Miss Farmer Kerry. <laughs> Look at this just turn to me now. <laughs> Spoke some what we're here for, Miss. Yes, I, do, I just I just hate seeing them. Yeah, I won't get rid of them. But I know it can't be done today. Whoa. Where's the bird's nest? Oh. Let me make sure there are no birdies in it. Oh, oh there are eggs in it! Oh, eggs oh! In there? There eggs in there? I don't see any eggs. There are two eggs in there! Oh, what did where, I where, do? Where? Oh, gosh. What did I do? I accidentally pulled down a bird's nest. I told you to, to, to keep to, uh, what, you, what we'll come here for, you know. <laughs> What no, they don't have a, I want the mother fire you see. Come guys, come children, come back before the mother fire her. <laughs> where could I stick it? Gosh. Put it back right here. Put it, catch it right there, so. Oh. I don't, don't try to catch it, it anywhere where the mother won't be able to see it. Well, she's not, it's not where she left it at this stage. But she can come back to the tree. Yes, and she'll find them. Hopefully when we're gone. So I was I, I, I was trying to to protect this 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 lime tree right here from from this vine that was that is all over it. She wants to see the eggs. Mm -hmm. See the mirror. Little tiny eggs. Yes, little tiny eggs. Come here, Miss 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 e e Edie. Come, Edie, come, 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 come. Put it right up the step. And it, it, it just neatly cut up some here, you know. Give me the, give me the nest. Careful. Oh, dear. If I see any bird around <laughs> the place. Because we're not able. 
Yeah, you do it. Good spot. Good spot. Let's go now. Run. Here, mom, here. Oh. Come, we're going, we're going now to do this. Oh, actually, come here to do Yeah, this one is growing right in the midst of this sweet top tree. So what is happening is that it is it is shading out the sweet top tree. It is part of the problem. It's not the only problem. And preventing sunlight from coming through the canopy. Um, but it's competing with the sweet top tree right here. So it has to come down. It looks like it probably came up from is a plum tree. Could be a jungle tree, you know. But it's where is it? No, it's not. But in, in any case, it sh it shouldn't be here. No, no. Right? Red. Red. Eden. Let me show you. Where's Eden? Eden. Eden. You want to stay in the car? You want to stay in here? All right, go on and stay here then. Stay there, okay, Zara? Right? Stay there, stay there, all right? Soon come back. No, I don't. I mean, safety gloves? Mm, mommy's doing the, the lifting today. You're back. Why are you cutting off the trees? Why are you picking off the trees? Because they're killing our food trees, okay? Oh. Eva, put it down. These vines, they're not supposed to be there. Put it down. Very good. Come back. Come here. Come, 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 come. The second tree marked. As you can see. Some termites going on here. Yeah, this tree has passed its prime. And here's our ants I was telling Tita that we need to just unleash the ants on the termite because maybe because ants eat termite. It's like a mother, the, the, the boss ants. Right there, hello. Can you do a job for me? Get rid of these termites. We're gone. Another tree gone. I know it's not the nice tree with the lovely limey orangey thing that we like but it's a tree that is in between that is competition so we're getting rid of it this plum tree is right going right in the middle of it competing with it for sunlight and everything so we want to keep the plum tree the, the fruit trees we want to keep as many of the fruit trees the previous owner planted a lot of made plum trees and father <laughs> You want a straw hat, baby? We can get you one. You don't, don't try to build yes. it. Come, come. There are a lot of plum trees like this around the yard. Like, at least a dozen of them. Some, some bear fruit, some don't bear fruit. Uh, so we're getting rid of the ones that don't bear fruit, that don't serve any other purpose. Um, right? Hold on. I hear a word coming. I hear a word coming. Well, no, John 15 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, then you'll bear fruit. But otherwise, you can't bear fruit as a Christian outside of God. You can't be not connected to God and be bearing fruit. So this is the message. Make sure you're connected to God so you can be bearing fruit. Does it say further that he removes those who are not bearing fruit? I believe it does not. I'm going to check on it and I'm going to bring up the scripture. But Christians, it's important to bear fruit because that's what God wants from us. But the people who are not saved are looking on to see whether or not the God we claim that we serve really has made any change significantly in our lives in how we actually live out with people. 
So you can be saying jumping hallelujah and speaking in tongues and the way you interact with the people. It does show no love to your brother and your sister. Alright? Make sure you're bearing fruit. Back to the chopping and the pruning. Yeah. It's this on the fence line. This tree is right on the fence line. I'm not sure if it belongs to us or the neighbor. But this tree bears fruit because you can see from the seeds underneath mm -hmm. it. That what kind of tree is it? It's a hog plum tree. The seeds underneath. Let me see if I can catch one. What? This don't look like a guinea. <laughs> hog plum this? No, this is this looks like guinea to me. Oh, it's not a guinea tree. Okay, there's a guinea tree here. Summary, okay. Why do you think this is neighbor? Does this not look like guinea to you? Unless somebody was also eating guinea. I don't see any more. So this big tree right here. This is a mango tree. It's very close to the house. It's, yeah, it is. It is very close to the house. It might be a problem later on if not already. Are there any signs? It's certainly going up um Where, where is the wasp, baby? Yeah, I don't know if you want to take this down now or look at it later, later on. But it's very close to the house. I don't like it. It is, yeah. So, when, when you're redoing the roof, we'll need to definitely have it adjusted. We have to trim it back, way back. Yeah. So all of these have to just burn. These trees have... They've been cut on for a while, so there's some fungi growing on it. This white stuff. Oh, by the way, Tina has a degree in zoology and all them planting there. So she she Come. She, she talking about one heap of things that she studied. Come. Speak zoology to me. <laughs> Say something zoology nice. Variegated. I'm, I'm botanic. <laughs> she knows a lot about this this kind of thing. Well, what orange tree? Well, right the other the other the other the other children are missing. All right. Eden Reed. Why are you going to enjoy yourself up here? Yes, but it, just come and stay with the pack. All right, you take, sit, sit, go and sit down, go and sit down, yes. Go, go, water break, run, run, baby, run, 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 <laughs> run water break, water break. So where's your, where's your water, Layla? You don't want any water? I already drink some. You drink some already? Mm -hmm. I want to use that little Give some to sisters. Come for water, baby. Zara, give some to Eve to eat. Yes, very good. Come out of the sun. Come out of the sun. Come over here. The cool shade? Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nozala, run. Okay. So, where's mommy? Mommy's around there looking at the trees still. She's staying there by herself? Yes, but she soon, she soon, we soon go back and join her, okay? Mm -hmm. Go fake up from, from, from Eden, Zara, go fake up. What kind of tree is this? Jackfruit. This is a jackfruit tree, very nice tree. But it's, it's, it's just grown and grown and grown. And you see, you see, you see that? It needs some prune, and there are a lot of them at that same level. Like what is my mango tree here? That has just grown too high. So what you'll find is that the, the fruit is in the top, and you don't want farmer George to be climbing so high and exposing himself. You know? Yeah. So we want to reach the fruit, but we also want to make sure that we get good quality fruit. So we're going to have to prune them so that enough sunlight is coming through the canopy of the tree, and not just at the top. Right. So the lower down need to get. Enough sufficient Enough sunlight. sunlight, right? You see the botani botanical garden things. Say right. something again. Oh boy! See agriculture. <laughs> 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 yeah, but this mango tree. Look at this. Hello. What is your name? Uh, no, we not seen the last time. Is this, this, this kind of the same it's just one? same dog, yes, man. Hello. We just stopping by. All right. Don't you, don't mind us. Want to recruit him? No. Don't look like you have no behavior whatsoever. The guys did a lot of work. Don't. The guys did Publi big, a big them up, big them up publicly. Big up to Mr. Ratri and team mm -hmm. who did all of this they work labored. in eight, eight hours. 
or so. This yes. was a lot of work, a whole lot of work. See the next plum tree right here, so but we can probably leave it. Is which plant Mr. Basso? It gets all of them plum tree here, make him decide. So I'm gonna plant every single one. Wow, yeah, we want to. You see, <laughs> even I'm leaving, yeah, stay with me, my baby. Even I learned the roof, farmer baby. You, what, you know, one of the things that I've, I've been doing is researching how you can, you know, use orchards and grow productively in the understory of the orchard you know the, the the lower part of the orchard where mostly it's bushes that come up but there are crops that don't mind you know some amount of shade that we could probably grow um and we kind of also want to kind of thin out so we're allowing more sunlight to come in because right now that's the next problem with the trees. They're so big, they just shade the entire space. Tell me why the trees need sunlight. <sighs> Speak science to me. <laughs> <laughs> the trees need sunlight for the purposes of photosynthesis. Six a chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. <laughs> <laughs> We're blessed with these palm trees as well. Very beautiful trees. And this one is being hugged up by a why you say this name tuna tree? Babe? Yeah. What is name tuna? Yeah. yeah it's, it's been hugged by the tuna cactus, which has a lot of medicinal, you know, it's it good for you. Or so I've heard. So I don't know. It it is really it's hugging up the part the palm tree, but we, we're not going to just damage take it all later and kill it. I think Tina wants to reposition these palm trees to line the driveway, but that's a different story. Or, yeah, or if, if not the driveway, to you know, properly line the fence. Mm -hmm. Found a noni tree in our yard. The great debate. The great debate. Look at this lovely shade under here. Look at look here. The shade extends. Watch here. Look how, oh gosh, look at all the shade. Mm -mm. Whoa. Some people want to cut down the tamarind tree. Not calling anybody name. Oops. That definitely cool. And so much tamarind trails on him. So we leave country now, because this country we're going to live now. That's what I call it. Yes. Country, real, real country people now. And we hear on the radio that there's a steel festival. When when we're going to Carindon, we heard awards it on the radio. Now that we're coming back. I didn't know it was today. I didn't know it was today, and, yeah. I, and I didn't know it was in Spanish town. So, yeah. I thought um, it was like far, far, far away from us. You're cutting me off like all the day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so we're listening to Melo FM. And. He was interviewing the, I think the forest uh, burger man. <laughs> the burger man was interviewing the forage lady that was, you know, I guess she's speaking on behalf of the stew festival. And it is actually today uh -huh. in Spanish town, which is not very far from where we are. So we're we we'll have a plan to well we got Hannah who went to class as usual on Saturdays. Everybody else is sleeping, but we're going to see if we can leave them with grandma and we hitch all right no not each other because we're going to drive we sneak out sneak away <laughs> and go to we the take stew ourselves. festival because they should have steel rabbits and other things and other things so i would love to see what they can steal steal i hear them stew all egg that would be interesting to see that's a regular, that's a regular thing with stew egg huh just cook the egg without oil. You have stew egg. You have a different idea of stew egg. I would love to know if they, if their idea of their stew egg is the same, okay. is the same as your interpretation of stew egg. But we'll see if it works out because we don't know yet. But let's see, let's see how it goes. Otherwise, it was a, a successful day so far. We got to mark the trees, and we figured out that our fence is not as, or our fence line isn't as big as we thought it was, which is a good thing. Well, 
Find the stew chicken festival. The stew food. festival. Sorry, <laughs> stew chicken in my mind already. <laughs> We're trying to find the stew festival. Um, courtesy of what? Well, Larson and Thompson Pen 4H clubs. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, see a big, big fields every water. Yeah, so big. Yeah, past fields too. Past fields. Okay. This is the past fields. The smell. Okay, smell it again. No. Yeah, I think so. Smell it. I'm still smelling it. All right, so we're pulling up at the gas station. Pulling up to see if we can find out what is the problem with the car. Why we're smelling fumes so high? Uh, you smell it now. I mean, yes, we would smell it here. <laughs> no, it's gone. Let's see. Let's drive a little and see what's going on. No? Alright, so. I don't think we're <laughs> on the right track, babe. Yeah, what I was expecting to see were some like feather banners and things like that to kind of direct us that we're on the right track. But I don't really see any of that, so I don't know if we're on the right track. And we're we're in Spanish though. We can't be here. All right, maybe we need to go and do a quick online check <laughs> and see. I wanna look like we know which one we have. Two festival. Right, Spanish town hospital waiting. Mm -hmm. Which year that? What day is this article? In 2022 one. Okay. Larry St. Thompson Penn Community 4H Club makes a grand return, blah blah blah, which is slated for Brooklyn Park in Thompson Penn, Spanish Town. Brooklyn Park. Oh, which part that day? All right, so I guess we're going to Google Maps now. Brooklyn Park. Seven minutes. Hmm? It's showing where we are. So it's showing us going. We are at Spanish Town Hospital. So we continue along Burke Road and then we go past. I don't know. That's only seven minutes. This is some. Eh? I don't know if I so we're supposed to go in because remember, so Google said we got a bush already, so we don't to trust, we don't to trust Google. So, what have you discovered now? So, um, apparently, from where we are, Google is showing Thompson Pen to be about 12 minutes from here. And, um, if you look closely, if you observe very closely, it is raining puss and dog out a door. So, um, we will not be making a trek to Thompson Town or Thompson, sorry, memories <laughs> to Thompson Pen to find this stew festival. What is that name? So what, what, what we were feeling, we were in a stew mood. What could, what could we, yeah, what could we substitute? <laughs> if it was the rain, I'd go in, but the rain, the rain just kind of... The rain is off-putting, plus we're smelling fumes for some strange reason. We keep smelling fumes. I don't know why all of a sudden we're smelling fumes. Yeah. yeah, so what do we do now? What do we do now, babe? You want to put the jar? 
Yeah. In Addis Ababa? Yeah. No, so I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. This is not a go for a drive weather. Mm -mm. No. Not today. Not at this hour. It's almost four. So it's going to be dark real soon. Yeah. So I want to just get something or somewhere else. Get something or somewhere else and, and just chill out. I'm going to drink up myself. I did feel tired, you know, after I go, after me go sweat up myself and something a mark tree and a pull down vine off a tree and we were tired and we gonna make coffee we gonna make coffee you know so we could have keep up <laughs> we get tricked we were tricked yeah it was a trick Thompson Ben is nowhere near Phil's Harbor there is no Thompson Pen no stew festival at Phil's Hardware. Or Police Academy. Or anywhere in the environs. Mm. Nowhere near. Disappointed. But now that we know, maybe next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe if, next year. Or have you, done, have you ever been to the stew festival? Let us know how it was. Yeah, and if you've had the stew where, rabbits, how yeah. is it? What you think of it? And what else them stew there? You know what we would have loved? Some stew tambourine. Speaking of tambourine. Speaking of tambourine, that's just something that can stew. You're talking about tambourine chutney. You're not, you're not chutney tambourine. You, you stew the tambourine. You, anything can stew. So, there's this big debate, right? There's no debate. Can you switch off the, the hazard lights? You know one of the people in my ear tick, 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 tick. There's no debate. There is a debate, right? There is an enormous tamarind tree. Not enormous. She's using all the adjectives. It all is adjective enormous. It is a huge tree huge. right in the front of the yard. In fact, it is, it is probably 20, 10 meters, 10, 15 meters from the gate. That's how close it is at the front of the yard an enormous tamarind tree and uh, Paul wants to keep the tamarind tree I would keep the tamarind tree if it was over in the orchard right or somewhere towards the back I don't want no big old tamarind tree at the front of my property honestly if it was something like an apple tree fine maybe I could live with it I want an ornamental tree I want to replace the gigantic tamarind tree gigantic. with an with an almond not sorry with a with an ornamental tree a pui tree or some other you know attractive ornamental shade tree attractive, well. yes the tamarind tree not attractive babe it just it big the it full of tamarind the enormous tamarind tree is not attractive I don't I'm not a big fan of tamarind. We can plant a tamarind tree. We have space. Can plant tamarind tree actually, you know. We can plant tamarind tree somewhere else. But this one is so mature. It is very mature. And uh, you, you, you know the other problem I have with tamarind tree? We might pave the, the, the yard at some point. But you see all of them little little leaves there when it's ready for drop off. It makes a mighty mess. God soon come, don't worry about that. God soon come. <laughs> Alright. That's I've no I've no challenge with that argument, right? But in the interim, until God come, I would like to enjoy a nice beautiful tree, tree. Right there. What say you? Because if it, keep the tamarind tree or or a, all or in a, favor um, say I or a points or a or a points on a tree. You know? If you say, if you if you want to if we, if we, if get we, rid of the tambourine tree, don't comment. No, let them say, leave it or keep it. No, keep it or cut it. Keep it or cut it. What you say? Keep or cut. Keep or cut. For hardware store, oh, this this looks pretty proper. This looks pretty nice. I, I, I like it already. Good going, Phil's. Here we are at Phil's Hardware in Smashtown. This was an um, 
unplanned stop but i thought man this is an attractive hardware and we are in need of you know supplies gardening supplies and homeware houseware we are just window shopping by the way we're window shopping yes we need we want to do some renovations and so we come to look and see what prices are like here you know toilet face basin vanity um tub that kind of thing that we're going to need this kitchen sink along, I, I just want to go look in we can't look but we have to, we have to narrow down we're not gonna walk aisle Narr by aisle narrow down and this and this long so that that is only bathroom supplies babe they're all in this the vicinity the same area all right this is, i'm going to just look see what they have and we can come back so you want to look and see for for the grass knife yes. or the, the side, the side yeah. i've been watching videos of people using these sides you know the thing that the grim reaper uses so you know except that it's 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 a, it's a real function which is to cut grass in particular you know meadow grass long grass which we have a lot of so Apparently it does so very efficiently. So we come to look at it as a potential option. If them have it. Yeah. So let's go. Yes. Say so it wasn't the car. We're driving dust me no more fuel. I think it was just the area. Alright? Yeah, I lost my time. Yeah, the car is fine and there are no lights on the dashboard to suggest anything otherwise. So Yeah. I'm sorry for doubting you. I'm sorry. This car have a name? This car don't have no name yet. Isis. Isis? Yes. It's just named Isis. Or Platana. Platana! Where yes. uh. Let's not put that in the vlog. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with all of these stuff. I can't wait. I want a, I want a, a device for everything. So we didn't see what we wanted at this first location, but we might re visit the Kingston one because I think when we last went there, mm -hmm. we were looking around for something else, but we were in the gardening section and I think they had more of the, the tools mm -hmm. that we were looking for. I think based on what I saw today that the guys did, it's much easier now for us to maintain. maintain. Yeah, we just need to clean up the tree branches, the rubble, and stuff like that. And we're definitely in a much, 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 much better place. And once they take down some of those trees, we can start to look at replanting others. Because for me, it's more important to have diversity as opposed to quantity right so we don't need three four five of everything it would be nice to have like i haven't seen an ote tree there the, the tree that we saw that i thought was wondering if it was a was a pear tree is actually a star apple tree and we have two so we know that we have star apple and we have a variety of citrus roots we have a whole heap of sweet sap Mango, <laughs> and a few mangoes so i would love to see a o to eat a tree, tree. Eat. sure we've got a tamarind tree one tamarind tree but i would love to see a o to eat apple tree which i wouldn't mind being out front actually there's a lot of space for it i would love to see a star fruit tree we already have a oh, no we don't have a star fruit okay a jim billion tree yes you know you, you guys know which one i'm talking about right yeah, the one that when you cut it, it look like a star. That one. I want a pear tree, an actual avocado tree, a breadfruit tree, which I have not seen yet, papaya trees, a male and a female, which I haven't seen, and I want to plant some pineapples. So I want all of those things, and I need space for them. So we do, we do need to do some, you know, renovation of the orchard. The 
orchard needs renovation. Who oh, making a good start? I was, yeah. Anyway, anyway. I mean, I'm so rambling and going on about it. I'm just so excited, you know. You have to understand. I never grew up in a yard with all of these trees. It's just so exciting to me. <laughs> Don't you, babe? You don't feel excited, Papa? Mm. <laughs> anyway, let's close out this vlog. Oh, we so we might just get something to eat now. So we're gonna look some food and then yeah. Yes, yes. You all get that one with a coast? No coasting for me. This is perfect for the rainy really weather. So on behalf of me, Paul, and the whole of the picnic them. Bless up from me and my house. You see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers.